Good morning. I'm Olivia here with your top stories. Kamala Harris and Mike Pence took part in the only vice presidential debate of 2020, the result being a partisan split in determining who had the stronger performance. During the debate, both Harris and Pence were misleading in the information in order to score points with potential voters. Pence claimed that Biden and Harris support taxpayer funding abortions all the way up until birth. While Harris and Biden both support women's right to abortion, that doesn't mean they call for women to have the right to terminate pregnancies up to the point of birth. Fact checkers at the New York Times believe Pence may have been referring to a bill passed by Democrats last year that made it easier for women to obtain late-term abortions if their physical health or safety were at risk. Harris claimed that the trade war with China had caused a recession in manufacturing. Although American unemployment and output percentages were reduced, the U.S. has not experienced a manufacturing recession. Instead, factory output had plummeted with the help of the pandemic, but has been recovering since April. According to a White House physician, President Donald Trump will be able to return to public engagements by Saturday, only 10 days after his diagnosis. Two epidemi epidemiologists from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention will be helping the White House in tracking down people who may have been exposed to the coronavirus. According to the CDC spokesman, Jason McDonald, the White House also completed contact tracing on Tuesday, and an anonymous spokesperson said anyone meeting the CDC's definition of close contact with someone who tested positive had been notified and given health recommendations. Trump also said he would likely get another test for the virus on Friday and I think I'm going to try doing a rally on Saturday night if we have enough time to put it together but we want to do another rally. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all ESM we've reached our goal of a thousand subscribers on YouTube now you can watch select sporting events live like the girls varsity field hockey senior night game tonight right from home the winner for the 25 visa gift card giveaway is Elena Vespi congratulations we will be in contact with you soon Today we'll have a chilly start, but we'll warm up to near 65 during the afternoon. Saturday we'll have a mix of sun and clouds and a chance of evening showers and possible thunderstorms, reaching a high of 77. Sunday will be a bit cooler with some sun and have highs near 60. I'm Nicole with your weather. The boys cross country lost last night to JD 15 to 50. Despite strong performances by Spencer Carnival, John Corsi, Eden O'Brien, Tommy Walters, Logan Michaels, and Jack Tamalti. The girls cross country team beat JD last night 28 to 29. Clutch performances by Rachel Ladd, Elena Vespi, Mary Roach, Ainsley McKenna, and Taylor Hoffman. The girls soccer team beat Auburn last night 3-0. All three goals were scored by Lena Polcaro. The boys soccer team also came away with a win beating Auburn 9-0 on their senior night. Zach Schufelt had two, Jimmy Ferns, Christian Moon, Joe Federico, Braden Polcaro, Matt Kenny, and Todd Durantini all chipped in one goal each. In upcoming games, girls tennis plays at JD and field hockey is at home against Beeville tonight. And on Saturday, the boys soccer team plays with Liverpool. Today at ESM is election day for student council and class council, so we are going to watch the student council speeches now, and then following our show, your teachers will, pl will play the class council speeches so you can be an informed voter. From everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great weekend, and don't forget to vote. Hello, my classmates and peers. As you may know, I am Zachary Seaburn, and I'm running for student council president. 
I believe that I'm a good candidate for this position for many reasons. First of all, I've gained the experience of being in student council from having been a part of the program for over four years. During this time, I've developed the skills necessary to represent the student body and build character and integrity throughout my time as an officer. My main goal in running for this position is to help bring about change and improvement among our student body. I aspire to get more students involved within the community and make everyone feel rightfully represented. One of my primary ideas that I've advocated for is to organize a spirit week. With football being postponed until the spring, I still believe it is vital for school morale to have an engaging spirit week that brings us closer together. I'd also like to create a student council Instagram account to easily communicate news and information to students and their families. Along with this, we'd be able to receive input from the students privately and anonymously via hosting polls and direct messages. Ultimately, I believe you guys should vote for the president and set up experience as a journal leader and we'd love to include more diverse ideas within our activities. Thank you. Hi, my name is Henry Callahan and I'm running for student council vice president. Throughout my years in athletics, I've developed an ability to work hard and to complete a task. I've also learned to communicate well. I believe I do a swell job at bouncing ideas through me. One of my favorite things to do is to split wood. The reason why is because it practices repetition. Being vice president, being able to consistently carry through on tasks will help me do my job to the best of my ability. Some activities I participate in are school soccer and lacrosse. I also participate in masterminds, ski club, and choir. I take all honors courses and am a well-rounded student, balancing arts, academics, and athletics. All of these activities have turned me into a leader. I would like to make the best out of whatever this year brings us. If you're looking for someone who puts your say first, I would love to have your vote. Thank you.